Hello everyone. Hello again, Facebook. Happy Friday. It's Liz again, and I'm super excited to be here today because we have a really fun live today. So as I'm waiting for people to join, let me explain. Last month we did something really fun, which was we did a little poll and then we asked all of you, the viewers or the fans, uh, to choose which Afghan block you wanted me to uh, show you or that you wanted to work together with me because this is really a crochet along block party. So uh, last, last time we did it was at the beginning of the month and I'm going to do it every month so make sure you join me. This is the block that we made last time if you guys remember. If you weren't here, here it is. It's called the uh, Princess Puff Stitch Afghan block. And there's my friend Susan. Hi Susan and Christina. Ciao. Thank you guys for being here again. Today's so special because we're doing the uh, block party again. So this is the one we made last month and, and we're going to do this every month at the beginning of the month because you guys really liked it and I really had a lot of fun too. The block we're doing today is, I'm just going to show you, well I guess I'll show you my sneak peek here while people come in. So let's see, people are coming already, I'm so excited. Amy's here, Fran is here from Minnesota, hello. And Rafi is here, hi Rafi. <laughs> here is the block we're doing today. It's got two colors, isn't that pretty? Okay, so I want everyone to get a chance to get ready to crochet along with me because we're gonna do this together. There is a PDF pattern, I put the link in the description. So you can go ahead and get ready, get, get your supplies, print your pattern, get your yarn. You need a worsted weight yarn. If you want your block to be my size, I use worsted weight yarn. Um, and get your five millimeter hook and we're gonna do this together. So remember, print the pattern and we can work together. And there's Vicki, hi Vicki. Now, here's my hook that I use. I usually use my, my one that everybody likes. It's a Susan Bates. This is probably my favorite one that I use. And there's Louisa. Hi, Louisa. We got our free block that we're working today. Let me show you my yarn, you guys. So I am using, this is by Encore, I mean by Plymouth, and it's called Encore. So this is Plymouth yarn, Encore. This is a worsted weight. And it is a acrylic wool mix. I put the link in the description for the yarn too because you can get all the, um, this yarn at Annie's catalog. And there's lots and lots of colors. I just have a few of them, but there are tons of colors there. And Lori's here. Hi, Lori from Alaska. And Linda from Chicago. And Louisa from Ireland. Hi, Louisa. And there's my friend Vicki from New York. And Brenda from Indiana. I hope I got everyone. Thank you so much for coming, you guys. I was hoping that I would get a lot of people to crochet along with me today on this fun Friday block party. So let's see you guys, here's the colors I have. Let's put some colors together, together. There's Melissa from Tennessee. So I've got, I'm terrible at colors, but let's see, I've got the, the blue and the brown, that's kind of nice. This is the pink I used, but I didn't bring my pink. I don't, I don't think I have any more of that. And I've got the, how about this? The yellow and the brown and the blue and the white. Okay, so Dawn is there. Hi, Dawn and Brenda and Guada, oh, I missed that one. <laughs> Maria from Argentina. Hi, Maria. There's my friend Francis from New Jersey. And there is Carita from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm so happy that you are joining me here for all of this fun block party. <laughs> Here's my pink, you guys. Okay, so what colors do you think we should do? I'm gonna say A for the first uh, choice and then B for the second choice. So let's do, let's do A. Here's A, got the blue and the white. There's Crystal from Virginia, and here's B. We've got the brown and the yellow. Hi, Susan from Australia. So what do you guys think? A or B? First person who says A or B. <laughs> We're gonna do that one <laughs> while everybody's getting their supplies together. 
A or B? Okay, Mary, you were the first one. We're going with A. I like it. That was that's a good choice. Okay, everybody ready? Everybody have oh good. Everybody said a couple people said A. Sorry, Joanne. <laughs> if we had time, I'd do too. But I'm gonna move my phone, you guys. So we can start this block because you're gonna like this one. And I'm gonna go through it step by step with you. So you're gonna see each round and how to make this pretty block. Okay, let me make sure my phone is good here. Maybe A and B. Jody says A, Salita says A, Luisa says A. Okay, we're going with A. Guadalupe, there we go, from Mexico. Hi, Guadalupe. Okay, now I've got my five millimeter hook. Here's the block close up so everyone can see it. So it's kind of a reversible, I'd say, or uh, maybe a mosaic where you work the um, one color behind the other color. So this is what the back looks like. It looks nice on either side. It looks a little different, but it looks pretty on either side. This is the front and this is the back. So hopefully everybody has their pattern printed out. We're gonna start, let's start with the white or the ecru, as they call it. So our first round is gonna form a ring. There's Kathy from Orlando. So happy everyone is here for this block party with me. Now we're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Before I get started, I wanna show everybody, this is the one we did last time when we had the block party. And just in case you missed the beginning. So I'm going to try to put together a playlist of all of the block parties that I do. So that way they're all together if you missed uh, last time around or if you can't, if you, if you, somebody who wasn't able to make it today. So we did a chain of six and then we're going to slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. So you just go right into there and slip stitch. There's our ring. Then we're gonna chain up one. And we're gonna work 16 single crochets into that ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jody says, I love being here on Fridays. I do too, Jody. <laughs> I love having it, getting um, the opportunity to talk to some other crocheters because I'm the only one in my house. <laughs> That's 12, 13, you might have to squeeze it in there, 14, 15, 16. So we put a lot of stitches into that ring, but they all fit in there. Hi, Joanne and Patricia, and hi, Nell Nellie. Okay, so here is our first single crochet that we did. So we're gonna join with a slip stitch into that first single crochet. Actually, that might be the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so here it goes. Fifteen, sixteen. Okay, good. I always have to make sure I have the right amount or it will, as you know, mess up everything. <laughs> Rita says, hope you're connected. Hi, Rita, you're here, I see you. Thanks for joining me, we're on round uh, two. So that was round one and now round two. If you weren't able to print the pattern, we'll go through it here. I kind of highlighted some things, but we're gonna start with a chain six and then we're gonna double crochet in the same stitch that makes the corner. And then we're gonna do this long thing here, which is chain one, skip a stitch, 
double crochet a next stitch, chain one, skip a stitch, and then make another corner. Fran says you're <laughs> you got your hubby to oil paint, but is now oh good. So if hubby is crocheting, that's a that's very good. Underwood is here. Thank you for having the show. Sure, Underwood. I'm glad you're here, and thank you for joining me. And Arlene's from Ohio, and Joanne says, what's the count? So for the first one, I did 16 single crochets into that ring. And Sandra's here from Mexico. Hi, Sandra. So happy we got so many people on this fun Friday. So now for round two, we're going to uh, do a chain six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Rose is here from Oklahoma, and Etel is here from Maryland. Yes, um, Etel, the, the video will be here, and the free pattern um, will be on our Facebook page. So we're not going to get rid of it, and I'll probably put them all in a playlist so you can do all the squares. Now we're going to double crochet into that same stitch that we just came, came out of. And that is going to make a corner. So that's a chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to skip this one and double crochet and <clears throat> double crochet in here. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and then we're going to do a corner again. So we're going to skip this one. And we're gonna do that all the way around. So one, two, three. Work your double crochet into the same stitch to make your corner. Chain one, skip a stitch, go right into that next stitch. The leg is here from Delaware and Terry from Virginia. And there's Darla, hi Darla from Washington. We're making our corners, we're gonna skip this stitch. One, two, three, same stitch. So the corners we work into the same stitch. And then the sides, we just do one double crochet in the sides. Remember your corners always have to have an increase so that way your piece comes out flat. That's the, the main thing about granny squares or Afghan blocks. You have to do increases at the four corners in order for them to get squared and um, and work get worked flat. So Isabel is here. Hi, Isabel. And Robin is here from Phoenix and Nancy from Kansas City. Okay, so now this is my last. Skip this stitch. Do a double crochet in here. It's my last side and then chain one and then I'm going to join this round in the third chain. So one, two, three. Okay. So now it looks right. It's got our four corners. They look even and it's flat. <laughs> and there's Linda from California. Hi, Linda. So we are on round three. So now for round two, we're gonna fasten off that color and join a new color. So we're gonna join the next color in any corner chain, uh, chain space, and then we're gonna do four single crochet in the, in the chain space. So it says join with a single crochet. So I'm gonna show you how to join with a single crochet. Hi, Linda from California. Daphne's here from England, Denise. Donna, Margaret from South Africa. I'm so happy everybody is here. We're having fun with this block party today. I'm gonna join this blue that we chose with a single crochet. So first I'm gonna start out with a slip knot on my hook and just put my hook on there. It says any corner, so I'm gonna join in this corner. And then we're just gonna go in just like we would do a regular single crochet. So go in, grab your yarn, pull up that loop. You've got two loops on your hook and then pull through. And that's how you join with a single crochet. So that counts as our first single crochet. 
Liliana's here from Guatemala and Marcy and Sigrudor. I probably said that wrong, but hello from Iceland. <laughs> and Ursula's here and Dawn is here from Taiwan. Everybody's here. I'm so excited. We're having a block party. Okay, so now we're going to do four single crochets into there. One, two, three, four. So our first one was the join, and then we did four more, and that's five. So each corner should have five single crochets. Okay, now we're gonna, um, working behind the chain spaces, double crochet in the, skipped, in the skip stitch on round one twice. So let me show you what that looks like. So here's our next stitch. So the first part of the instructions is to single crochet in the next stitch, okay? And I'm just working over that tail. Here's our first round get my little here's our first round right and remember we skipped one stitch on the first round and there it is right there so that's where we're working hi Liz from England I can try to do the chain I can do the chain but I just turning so you just have to um, join that first chain and uh, make a little ring so that and then you start working everything into that ring and Janet's here from Massachusetts and Linda and Anna Anna this is your hobby this is definitely my hobby Anna and Kristen hey y'all from Memphis Tennessee hi Kristen I want to visit Tennessee one of these days I hear it's beautiful okay so you guys, if you are not following or if you're a beginner, you can watch this. Uh, you can always watch the replay. And there's a lot of, I do this every Friday here. So there's a lot of other um, tutorials that I do that you can check those out and learn. Okay, so here's my skip stitch. We are going to work behind this chain. So we're gonna double crochet. I have to rotate it so I can get in there and go right into that skip stitch from the previous row. That's what gives us that reversible look. And now our blue is popping out from there. So then we're gonna single crochet in the next stitch. Do that again. Rotate it and get your hook into that skip stitch from the previous row. Or, or round, I should say. And that's from round one. Single crochet in there, okay? So now we did the sides. And for the corners, we just do our five single crochets into the corner. One, two, three, four, and five. And if you miss that, don't worry, I'm gonna do that a bunch because that's basically the pattern. Hi, Maria from Portugal, and Linda's here from Tennessee, and my friend Maritza's here from El Salvador, and Kim from Pennsylvania. Okay, so we're gonna single crochet into this double crochet from the previous round, and then we're gonna go down to the this first round before this one. So, right there, double crochet, rotate, and get into that stitch. Remember, you're working behind the chain, not in front of the chain. So if you did like this, you're going to get a completely different look. So in order to work behind the chain, you have to rotate it and go back there. And work that double crochet. Do that again. And then single crochet into that double crochet. So you see how that it makes that really pretty, almost like a window where that blue is popping out and it just looks so pretty. One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna do our five in the corners. And then we're gonna do our single crochet. Okay, behind the chain, go into that skip stitch from round one and then single crochet in there, behind the chain, and then single crochet in there. Two, three, four, and 
five. And once you get the hang of this, it's pretty easy. It looks more complicated than it is, but isn't that true about most crochet? It always looks like it's harder than it is. Okay, now that last skip stitch that we are right here. Okay, and then we're just going to join in that first single crochet. I think we have to do that last one there and then join in the first single crochet with a slip stitch. So now you can see it's got that little window. Let me show you my completed one. So we're going to really do that all around to make it make it uh, have that mosaic look. Okay, that was round three. Now we're on round four. Jody says, very pretty, thank you. I think I can do this. Terry, you can definitely do this. <laughs> you can definitely do this. Sometimes it's a lot easier to figure it out when you see somebody doing it than just reading all these words that look a little crazy sometimes. So here's round four. We're gonna chain four, and that counts as our first double crochet and chain one. And then we're gonna do our corner, which is right here, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. And then we're just gonna do chain one, skip the stitch, double crochet in the next stitch four times. And then we're just gonna work that around. So chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip this stitch, and then we're gonna do our corner. So our corner should be right in the middle of those five single crochets from the previous round. And there's our corner. Chain one, skip the next stitch. And we're gonna do that four times. So that was one, two, three. Get some more yarn here. And four. So if you don't end up in that very corner, then you know you did something wrong. So you can just go back and, you know, rip that out and redo it. Because sometimes it's hard to keep up your count. Okay, so now we're gonna do our corner. So chain one, but I ended up in the right place. I ended up right where my corner should be. And Kathy says, that's pretty. Your grandmother taught you how to crochet. Everybody's grandmother taught you how to crochet, taught them how to crochet. The funny thing about me, I my grandmother did crochet, um, but I was never interested in learning, learning it from her. And I didn't actually even start until after she had passed away. So I don't know why. I remember always seeing her hooks around the house and stuff. <laughs> okay, here's our corner. But she would be proud of me, I'm sure. And I've been, she sewed also. She was more of a sewer than a crocheter, but she did crochet. Janet, you're gonna try this uh, with the leftover yarn. Good, because this, yeah, this is a great scrap project. I'm trying to decide what to do with my, um, my squares. I think this would make a really pretty afghan. It's kind of, it's, a, it's nice and thick. It turns out nice and thick since you've got almost like a double layer of yarn there. Um, so this would make a really pretty afghan for the winter. So this is kind of just setting up for our mosaic. So we're putting all these double crochets in there and then we're gonna go with the next color and work behind the chains, these chain one spaces. Donna says pattern. The pattern is in the uh, description, Donna. So if you just click on the link, you can actually print this, what I have right here. You can print that and work along with me. And of course you can you know, watch the replay if you missed the beginning. Okay, so now I, I know I'm right because I only have one single crochet left here and I know that's the one I need to skip. And then there's the beginning of my round. So I know I'm on the right track and I'm just gonna join to the beginning of my round. So one, two, three in the third chain and slip stitch. 
Janet started when you were 21 and you're 72. Oh my goodness, Janet, that's very yeah. impressive. It's one of those um, hobbies that you just don't get tired of, right? <laughs> Everybody that I see has been crocheting for so many years. It's like you just never get sick of it. There's always something new to learn too. That's what's fun. Okay, what round are we on? Um, we're on round five. So now it says fasten off. Just gonna take, put that through. We're gonna go back to our white. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna join with that single crochet just like we did in the, the other round, the round before this one. So here's my corner. We're always joining in the corners. And then I've got my slip knot on the hook. So you just go right into that corner, pull up a loop, and there's your first single crochet. Everybody's been, yeah, everybody's been crochet. I bet if I at, if um, we talked about how long we've been crocheting, everybody's been doing it for years and years and years because we just don't get tired of it. And what else are we going to do with all that yarn that we have? I know we all have a ton of it. <laughs> I have basically a whole, whole room full. It's, it's not pretty. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to work the same way we did on the previous round. So we're gonna do a single crochet in that first stitch, and then here's our skip stitch from the round before, and rotate it. So we're working behind the chain, and double crochet. It's that simple. Here's the chain, so we're gonna go behind it. <laughs> oh wow, everybody's talking about how long they've been crocheting. Yep, it's a, it's a, one of those things you just, you know, it's, it makes you happy, that's what it is. It makes you happy to create something beautiful. Um, it makes you happy to be able to make things for your friends and family that they really love. And it's very um, meditative. So when you're kind of concentrating on, just something simple like counting, it really can do wonders to clear your mind. At least that's what I find. So I think that's part of the appeal. Get my yarn straightened out here, you guys. <laughs> Janet can crochet all day. Yay, that's fun. And Vallega says you should be crocheting along, but oh, you're working up a bag. That's okay, you, you can watch the replay and uh, do these cute stitches. Okay, so now we're gonna do, did I miss one? There, don't forget that last one. Work my double crochet in there. Okay, now we're in a corner, so we're gonna do our five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Crazy about crocheting. Oh, Kathy, that's a good idea. You pray as you crochet. Yep, that's, like I said, meditative. Very, very nice to clear your mind and get those, you know, those thoughts that we, sometimes when we have such a busy life and, you know, so much stuff is going on, you really need to calm your mind sometimes. For me, I have my kids home from school and it's been... A little hectic. <laughs> Mimi says you're always knitting. Oh man, Mimi, I wish I could knit. I, I sort of um, started, I mean, I can sort of do it, not very well, but I just absolutely love knitted um, sweaters and baby items. And I mean, the, the um, people do some really amazing, beautiful garments with knitting, and I love those. Four, five, and Rose has been crocheting for about 10 years. Yep, that's how I learned YouTube. YouTube, one, two, three, four, five. YouTube, and I did a lot of like, um, I got the Annie's, um, 
I learned some stuff on YouTube, but you know, there's a lot of stuff that you just, YouTube doesn't teach you everything. And sometimes it's tough to find, there's just so much on YouTube. It's tough to find some, you know, good things. There are definitely a lot of good ones, but um, I also got the Annie's Creative Studio and there's lots and lots and lots of classes on there too um, from the designers. So that taught me a lot too. And of course, now we've got our Facebook Lives, so we can all crochet together. But yeah, that's how I learned, just from watching videos and reading books. I've got a lot of books too. I know a lot of people learn from their grandma or their mom. My mom's a sewer too, she's a quilter. Janet says you love watching crocheting videos. And no, they didn't have YouTube. Wow. So I guess that's why everybody had to um, had to learn from YouTube if they didn't have the, it taught by their grandmother. Because there was no YouTube <laughs> a few years ago. Okay, so I'm going to try to lay it a little flat so you can see it better. So now we're in the corner. So we're going to do five, one, two, three four and five single crochets in the corner and let me just show you guys this so in case you just joined late so here's our we're going to work a single crochet into this double crochet and now we're going to work a double crochet behind the chain I keep losing my little pointer here so here's the chain space, okay? And we're gonna work into this stitch, which is the skip stitch from the row below. So this is the pre or round. This is the previous round, and this is the round below. So we are working into that stitch. So instead of going in front of the chain, we're gonna go behind the chain. So you have to rotate your work a little bit and come in from the back and go into that stitch. And then, then it pokes out there. Okay, so I'll show you that again. Single crochet into there. Okay, behind the chain. Rotate so you can get back there because you have to work behind it. And then single crochet into there. I hope everyone can see this okay. Okay, and we just basically do that all around. My yarn is giving me issues here. Okay, behind, go into that skipped single crochet. single crochet in there. Okay, now this is the stitch I have to work into, but I have to go behind instead of in front of. So rotate it and go right into there. And that makes that, that puts that double crochet behind that chain space. Hopefully you can see that, okay. Single crochet in the last stitch, and then we're gonna find our first single crochet that we worked, which is right here, and slip stitch into there. So, okay, so Gail, hi Gail, and Dana says an elder in the village in Alaska took me aside at age eight and taught me how to crochet. Oh my gosh, what a great story. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really, really, that's, Great story, I like that. Okay. Let's see, we are on round uh, six. Okay, so now we're gonna do our double crochets again. And round six is basically like a setup almost. Just like the previous ones. We're going to set up all the double crochets um, so that way on the next round we can work behind them with the blue. 
So this round is basically chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. And these stitches that we're skipping right now, that's where we're gonna work into on the next round. So we're just gonna do this all the way around and then, you know, aside from our corners, which we, which we have to increase at the corners. So we have to do the double crochet, chain three, double crochet. This is my corner. Okay, so we have to do the seven times. Okay, so one, two, three, skip that one, four, skip that one, five, six, and Skip that one, seven. Okay, then we do our corner. Skip that one, here's our corner. One, two, three. Now, a lot of countries and states, yeah, there's a lot of people here today. I'm so excited that everybody is here to crochet along with me. And if you miss the beginning, um, we do this every month. So we're gonna start doing it every month at the beginning of the month. We did one so far last month. This is our second one, but I have lots of these blocks to show you. So the week before, we're gonna do a little poll and whatever block wins the poll is gonna, that's the, that's the one I'm gonna demo for you. So make sure you, um, are on following Annie's Facebook page or if you're in the crochet group um, we're going to post it in the crochet group as well but make sure you're in that group or you're following the page so that way you know uh, when we do the block and when you can vote oh some and then Maria is here from Brazil hi Maria and Antoinette is here from South Africa So I see a few likes and give me some uh, thumbs up or some likes if you like this so far. Hopefully everybody is getting this block. And you can always watch the replay too. And aside from the blocks that we're going to do once a month, I'm also on Facebook every Friday at noon. And we're going to, we always do some kind of tutorial. So hopefully you guys can join me. Okay, so now looks like I'm on the right track because I have one more stitch to skip. And then I'm going to join to um, my first stitch of the round, which was the chain four. And we're going to go into the third chain. So one, two, three and then just slip stitch in there and that was round six and that's where we fasten off again Joanne is here from Michigan and Geraldine is here from Dublin hi there <laughs> and Carol says I hate sewing those squares together you and me both I don't really like sewing the squares together but there's always um, join as you go technique. You could probably do some modifications with this one and figure out how to make it a join as you go, which is to me much, um, much more fun than sewing them all together. So I'm fighting with my yarn here, my blue. So we fastened off the white again and we're gonna start with the blue. So this is the last round and um, the last round is in the next color. And if you guys see, you can do this from, with, with three colors too. I did this one with three colors, which looks pretty fun.
Okay, so we're gonna do our four single crochets just like we did. So these rows are kind of, they're pretty similar. You're doing the same thing with each color. So we're just gonna go in with our single crochet. So if you got the last few rounds, this is basically the same. And then we're gonna do our four single crochet. One, two, three, four, and the first one, which makes five. So you should have five in each corner. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Dana's saying you never knew exactly. Oh my gosh, that's such a great story. And of course, you know that you'll never forget that, and she'll probably never forget that too. It's one of those memories that you'll always have that brings you happiness. Okay, now here we're doing the same thing. We're doing our single crochet in the double crochet. We're working behind this chain to go into this single crochet. So rotate it, go in, and double crochet. So if you didn't get it, I'm going to do it a bunch of times here. There's the stitch we want to work into. So we're going, I guess you could say back to front. So we're starting in the back and we're going into the front like that. So can you see that? So you yarn over, don't go this way, go this way, and then, it's hard to see, front to back. So it's kind of like back to front, front to back. So back to front, front to back. Yeah, that's right. Once you do it a few times, you'll get it. And you're gonna get, like I said, a completely different look if you just do it um, in front of the chain as opposed to in back of the chain. So Lucy's here from Canada and Carol, oh, and Carol Ann says hi from Canada. So we've got a few people from Canada. How's the weather in Canada? Ladies, how is the weather in Canada? It's pretty hot here in Florida, but then again, it always is. Okay, so back. It's my last one there, and then I work my corner. Two, three, four, five. And the first few times you do this one, you're probably gonna to wanna to count, make sure you do it the right amount of times. But once I made a few, you kinda of just get the idea of where all your stitches should go. You don't really need to count anymore. Okay, in the back. My dad taught himself how to crochet. Oh, that is true love, 100%. That's a sweet story, too. He taught himself how to crochet because he wanted to teach you. That is really sweet. Okay, Carol, you, thanks for clarifying. <laughs> you were saying... Um, Hello to Canada, gotcha. So you're in upstate New York. What's the weather like there? I guess that's a little close to Canada, right? Here we go. I'm working over that chain too. You can do that, just work over the chains. Or the tails, I should say, not the chains. The tails from the, from the other colors. <laughs> Kathy, where are you in Florida? I'm in like the Tampa Bay area. And of course the kids have been out of school for a while here. So I'm actually um, pretty grateful that it's, that it's hot because 
they've been able to go swimming every day because they're just sort of cooped up in the house. So at least they can get out, go outside and do some swimming. And we have a trampoline out there. One, two, three, four, five. So they can get a little bit of exercise. <laughs> Leesburg. Um, I, don't, I know Leesburg. I've never been there, but I know, I, I know where that is. There we go. Okay, remember we're going behind the chain and into that stitch. So hopefully if you came in late, um, I just want to repeat myself that um, the pattern, this is a free pattern that I'm doing for this Afghan block. And I put the link in the description. So you can, um, if you want to watch the replay, um, or if you want to just grab the pattern to save for another time, you can print the PDF and the link goes right to this pattern that I have here. And every time we do the, um, this block party, we're going to, I'm going to do the same thing. You're going to have, um, the pattern and I'll put it out there, um, a few days before too. So that way, if you want to get all your stuff together before and work along with me, you can print the pattern ahead of time, get your yarn ready and everything. So hopefully everyone can get to the link. Okay. And then there's one, two, three, four, five. So Scott Arnold is looking for a specific pattern. Um, and what I would say is check out the Facebook group. Um, there's a lot of helpful people on there that like to if somebody has a question, um, there's a lot of very experienced crocheters there that can help out <clears throat> and point you in the right, <laughs> right direction. We're almost at the end of this round. So Joyce from Wisconsin and Geraldine says, thank you for the demo. Yeah, it is, it can be easier than following a pattern. And it's always fun to, even if you're a pro, it's always fun to just come in and join and chit chat with everybody. Oops, split there, okay. And, but like uh, this pattern, I think is going to be pretty easy for everyone to get because as you can see the rounds are pretty much the same. The only difference is we we are increasing each round. But the technique that you're going to do is basically the same for all the rounds where you're just going to go behind and work into that that skip stitch from the row before the previous round. And my last, and then here's my first single crochet that I joined with the blue, and then I'm just going to slip stitch into there. What's the group name? It's uh, Annie's Crochet Group. So if you go to, um, I'll put a link. but it's called Annie's Crochet Group. And if you just go to the Annie's Facebook page, you should be able to find it there, but I'll, I will also put a link for you for the group. Okay, so then we just fasten off. And there is our square. And you can block this out if you want. I did block these ones so they look a little more squared and flat. So look, we've got all these colors now. This would make a really fun afghan. 
And okay, so looks like we've got something for you, Scott. So check out this link that just got posted um, for what you were looking for. <laughs> and, and there's the crochet group. Here we are, guys. So now I'm gonna say goodbye. Whew, I'm a little, <laughs> I think I got a little bit of a workout there. <laughs> That was a good one, but I hope everyone enjoyed um, doing this block with me. And like I said, we're going to do it every month, so make sure you check out the Facebook group and make sure you check out the Facebook page so you know when we are going to um, do the, the poll for the next block next month. And every Friday, I'm here at noon. So Fran says, thanks for another fine job. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. And um, I will see everybody next Friday at 12 noon. And thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Bye, Carol. Bye, Kathy. Thanks, guys.